I've been feeling very maternal here lately. Like my, the woman side of me has been yelling, <laughs> almost. I would love to have a baby. What's up y'all, it's your girl Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leave. So, before we get into this video, I want to say I appreciate y'all, man. Happy New Year. You know, we are finally in 2022. 222. All good things should come your way. All good things should come your way, okay? And that's just period. I wish nothing but good on y'all, you know what I'm saying? And I hope... Everybody is living out their dreams and, and uh, you know, having a good year so far. Um, I got a lot I want to say. I already recorded this once. I didn't like the lighting of it, so I decided to do it over. But also, I was repeating a lot of what I was saying in the last video. So I'm going to try my best to do um, better with that. But this is a situation that's nerve-wracking for me. Because um, for those that don't know, well, for one, I want to speak about the videos I've been doing about having a baby. So first of all, it's not cap. I want to have a baby. No cap. Um, I, I would love to have a baby, but am I ready? I don't think so. Like, I've been feeling very maternal here lately. Like my, the woman side of me has been yelling <laughs> almost, you know, um, I had a little altercation in, uh, October slash November with my sperm holder is what I call her. And, um, she gave me a huge realization of what a mother should be, you know, um, because of what she isn't. You know, and this video is not about her and I'm not like the mommy hurt and all that. Not so much anymore. I'm glad she, I'm glad we had that little altercation. But with that being said, I was just really thinking to myself like, damn, you know, it's time for me to be a mother. And, and I've always felt a sense of emptiness, you know, and not emptiness with me you know i went through my depressed state i'm not i'm not there I, I really 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 wholeheartedly like expeditiously love myself you know what i'm saying i do so not not emptiness there i love tt i love my relationship ain't nobody perfect child but we do what we do i'm cool there but when it comes to me having my own children when it comes to me getting, um, what you call that shit, like, I don't know, just unconditional type love. I don't, I feel like something is missing there, you know. And, I mean, not just that, like, the, the maternal side of, of being a woman. Just to hear my child call me mommy or for my child to, like I said, just have that unconditional love for me. I just feel like nobody love you more than your children. And don't get me wrong, you know, TT has children that, you know, we doing a damn good job co-parenting on over here. And don't get me wrong, them damn kids love me. I never doubt that. Them kids love me. Um, and I love them, but I, like I told the oldest, cause she don't want me to have a child or whatever. I said, you know, I started with y'all in the middle. <laughs> we didn't start in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get to hold you, you know, I didn't get, I didn't get to see you take your first steps. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. I guess I want the beginning, you know what I'm saying? The beginning to the end here. And um, 
I think she'll she'll eventually understand. But she don't want me to have a child, her or London. And um, I don't think that's a bad thing. Uh, I think that they definitely want my attention. Um, but you know, I have a, a back and forth with myself and and TT on in the event of you leaving me. I'm not going to have the children. You know what I'm saying? And not that even, not that she would take the children away from me. I, I, I never, I don't, I don't feel that. Um, but wholeheartedly they will be with her. You know what I'm saying? When you are a fucking lesbian and in these type situations, you have to think that way. Unfortunately, because my bad, y'all, the car was full, but <clears throat> when you are a lesbian, like, you have to think this way. And it's unfortunate because, you know, just like any family, you know, you put a lot into it. And at the end of the day, the mama is taking the kids, you know what I'm saying? I mean, hell, it don't even seem like this is just a lesbian thing, even dealing with the dads, you know what I'm saying? Like, they got to deal with the fact that the woman is going to have the children. You know what I'm saying? So I have been at a bit of a disarray with me potentially not being able to have anyone, you know, in my future, just in the event of anything happens. So um, I have been feeling like. I, I want to have my own. Now, it's been several options that y'all have been putting in my comments. A, why can't TT have a baby? B, um, turkey best, baster. C, uh, isn't that what a clinic is for? And I can't even remember the fourth one. <clears throat> I'm going to say adoption. And, you know, TT has already had children, right? And... You know, you have complications with pregnancies. Just know, I don't want her to go through certain complications again. So, I don't want her to do it. I don't want to have to deal with her going through complications. And I got a warm womb over here. Okay? Warm, ready to fry. Okay? Ready to bake. I don't want her to have to go through that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm not selfish ever. But I'm really not selfish in this case. No, I would like to have this child myself, but I got to tell y'all, I'm scared as hell. I'm not even going to lie. And fear is not even real. You know, it's not. This is nothing for me to even, no, nah, that's a lie. This is something for me to fear. Real shit happens with pregnancy, you know, but I feel like it's worth it. I do. However, I'm not in a situation where I'm just having sex with a man, you know, and boom, I can get pregnant. That, that is not my story. I am in a situation where I have to premeditate all of my moves with this. And that's what's holding me back. Like, damn, I got a plan to do what I want to do. And the anticipation for that, y'all, it's mind boggling, bro. I'm not even going to lie. It's mind boggling. And for me, it's scary as hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so, quite frankly, I don't know what the fuck to do at this point. I don't. I've been told, even if you decide to have sex with a dude and, you know, y'all doing it, girl... It's a possibility that you ain't even coming. I mean, you ain't even, um, what? It's a possibility that you can't get pregnant in that first time, second time, third time. Not option. With a turkey baster. It's a possibility for that sperm to hit the air, y'all, and it goes to shit. Because y'all don't know what the fuck y'all doing. That's a possibility. So then he really going to be asking for help because he going to be tired of using his hand. To do that. No. <laughs> I genuinely don't believe in paying for this shit. I'm not going to lie. I don't. 
And no disrespect to anybody that has, okay? You know, everybody has their story. I ain't no hater, goddammit. I'm happy. Whoever happy, I'm happy for you. But I just don't feel like this is something I should have to pay for when I got all. <laughs> I, I'm, it, this shit is free. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Y'all, this shit is free. I just don't really believe in paying for this shit. However, I'm glad I did do this because um, a girl has brought to my attention that they actually have free sperm donors that are ready to give sperm out here in these streets. Um... In the Facebook uh, world, you know what I'm saying? It fully legit, tested everything. And I had no idea. So that is another option that I have. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, like, I don't know, y'all. It is <sighs> the girl side of me is just screaming, give me something. And um, yeah, we going through it. <laughs> But I will say, even if it comes to the point where I'll adopt, um, I'm cool with that as well. But I just wanted to let y'all know, you know, what was on my mind. A lot of y'all asked me, you know, how's my mental health and things like that. And y'all mentally, I promise you, I'm in a great place. I am. I'm in a great place. As good as it's going to get for me. Okay. Um, I'm in a good place. You know. And blessed to say the least. Happy. Love myself. But I am. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. And I don't know if I should get a puppy first. You know. And I know it's not the same. <coughs> but... <clears throat> Y'all, I really don't know. And normally, I have the answers to everything. But in this case, no answers. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man, down in the comment section. I uh, Let me know if y'all are going through it. I've seen a lot of studs have been speaking up. Like, yeah, nigga, I'm on a baby too. A lot of studs have been speaking up. You know, when you enter into this gay realm... You know, and honestly, I mean, we can't help who we are. You know what I'm saying? I, I never change who I am either. You know, I, like I told y'all, I love me. I never change this shit. But when it comes to having a child, being maternal, you have to really have an understanding woman. And I'm glad that I do. She's very understanding of this. And she 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 knows where I'm coming from. She has offered as well. I want, I want to put that out there. She has offered to have the baby as well. But like I told y'all, the complications that she told me she had, I don't want her to go through that. I don't. So that's me not being selfish. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna I don't wanna do that. So um I'm gonna have to figure this thing out. But yeah, I wanted to make this video and see what y'all thought. <coughs> you know, about how I'm feeling. Sometimes y'all don't agree with what I'm saying, but this ain't nothing for you to agree with because I'm going to do what I want to do. But just comment down below. Say something nice. Let me know if y'all have uh, gone through this or if y'all are thinking about it or, you know, if you've had complications with this. Yeah, let me know. But I'm done with this video, man. Thank y'all so much for supporting me. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Later.